watch on mobile devices or the big screen, all for free. No subscription required. Download Daily now. To pluck or not to pluck, that is the question. No body hair, minimal body hair. Should be like a totally personal choice, right? No, it's a stigma, a crime, especially in young girls. Oh. But we all buy into it. The creams, the razors, the wax strips, the threading. Time for the big guns. Full Brazilian, mini Brazilian, Brazilian North, Brazilian South, Brazilian Total Body, and that's just my search history page. But we're black, we're mousy, we're blonde, we're straight, we're curly, we're ginger... We're dirty blonde and rude. But we're one thing at home and another in school. We're whoever we need to be to fit in, to blend in, but you know, when can we ever just be ourselves? So this, oh, my best beloved, is a story. A new and wonderful story. A story quite different from other stories. My story of how the invisible girl child came to be seen. First by you, and hopefully later by them. You're going to be OK here. I'm sure I will, Auntie. Any problems, you come straight to me, you know, cos I'm like staff. OK. Huh? So, listen, everything that happened in Manchester is stay in Manchester. I promise I'll do my best for you, Auntie. OK, good. <laughs> By forcing me to remove my jewellery, this school is guilty of taking part in an act of oppression in alliance with the Masonic Pakistani Patriarchal Society. The alliteration Pakistani Patriarchal is particularly effective if somewhat clumsy. In the box, please. Nose piercing as well. Pick them up after school, thank you. Right. Mate. Oh, my God, where are your piercings? Didn't you get any done? No. Mum will let me get my nose pierced, said it made me look too foreign. <laughs> oh. My God. What the hell is going on here? No, no. No, stop. You can't do this. Sling your own. What do you think you're playing at? You're on a horse. This is a direct action. The council have closed our permanent site, so we're going to be stopping here with you on your school. Then take your fight to the council, not us. I've got a school to run. Now do one, otherwise I'll be forced to take a direct action. There's not a lot you can do. I could call the authorities. Lorraine! Where is she? I'm here. Hold on a minute. Lorraine, let's check sections 61 and 62 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act of 1994. And whilst you're at it, look up the Equality Act 2010. So you find you don't have a leg to stand on. Police can't do out because it's a civil offence, not a criminal offence. Just you listen to me. Also, Section 62 of the Act allows a senior police officer to direct a person off land only if there is an alternative pitch or relevant campsite. How about you get off that horse because you're not wearing a helmet, you're on school grounds, that's health and safety. That's my law. We'll be registering today as well. That or social services will put us in care. Ain't happening. We're fully booked. Only a couple weeks, official like. And I'll get myself expelled. Lost in the system. Not gonna happen. No! They have just as much right to be in this school as I have. Not now, Fizza. I'm in conflict. All kids, irrespective of colour, Creed. Oh, body ornamentation. Oh, body ornamentation. I have the right to an education. Don't need you to defend us. Um, sorry, I'm just showing solidarity. 
No such word. I'm, I'm an activist. We don't need outsiders. Getting hammer, Mr. Evershed. I know you wanted to introduce a new regime to the school, but this is taking the biscuit. Where's this lot come from? <clears throat> because I'm sure we can accommodate all comers. We can. Diversity and inclusivity is what Ackley Bridge and the Valley Trust is all about. Give it a couple of weeks, and we'll palm them off onto other schools, share the burn. You can't do that. Hey, think about the funding bump next year. Pupil premiums, come on down. We're all the demographics. We've got the whites, we've got the Asians, and now we've got the gypsies. Hey, let's get this paperwork finished. I feel the press release coming on. Cha-ching. What's he got that I haven't? White skin. I threatened his male privilege. You think? Maybe they don't understand our ways, you know, like untouched tribes in the Amazon. He's saying I was patronising. Well, you did have your Save the Whale voice on. Sorry. <laughs> Hope I'm not disturbing you. I just wanted to say sorry about earlier. You know, with my friend, Fizza, she was just trying to help you. Just what? Everything, really. You know, she loves a good cause. Awkward. Not that I'm saying you're a cause, or, or even if you had a cause, which I'm sure would be a good one, you know, if you had one. Oh, my God, I love horses. She's so cute. What's her name? Bandit. Hello, Bandit. Hi, my name's Marina, and I've come to ask your daddy to a party. Yes, a very exclusive one. Bring a friend. Or a few. You can come too, Bandit. I used to have a toy rocking horse with a long, bushy tail like this. I used to spend hours just plaiting it up in... Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, if you weren't full of wind before, you are now. Shut it, Mowgli. Hey, is that necessary? Oh, my God, big grace is that, innit? Oh. You look better without the septum ring anyway. It made you look a bit piggy. Nice piggy, though. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, let's just leave it, let's go. That is Kayla. Yeah, respect. I've got excessive nostril hair. How am I supposed to see to shave my bum? OK, um, can I just stop you there, OK? Because I've actually got Johnny standing right here with me.
Why did you do that to me? To teach you a lesson. So next time you get on my face with your smart gob, you'll think twice before showing off. I wasn't doing anything. You don't have to. You're just being there is enough. Why do you hate me so much? Because you got on my nerves. Because every time you walk in a room, all my friends turn and look at me because you're brown and me and my mom. Oh, sweet. What's going on? Stop it. Well, she started it with her. I didn't raise you to be a racist. What are those for? I have to go and stay with your Aunt Kate while well, she's having a chemo. Are we coming? Well, you can't very well come with all that going on, can you? You're both going to go and stay with your dad, Kayla. Me dad? No, no, I'm not, I'm not staying with him. Yeah, and I'm not either, so I'll go stay with my dad. Don't you think I've asked? He's not available. So you're both just going to have to get your heads round it now. Get upstairs and pack a couple of bags. <gasps> is it my life hard enough as it is? Just making it worse sending us there. Hiya, Dad. Marina. Mr. Absol. Slamly come. Uh, hi, all right. <laughs> God, you're not even your own, not like you. Your dad looked dead embarrassed. He didn't. You're, that house it smells of curry. The bed it smells of curry and the food it smells of curry. That's because it is curry. <sighs> you think you're so funny, don't you? We weren't laughing when your big hairy freak body was exposed to the world. That shot you up, didn't it? Like to get your gypsy boyfriend to come stick up for you. What? Oh yeah, like you didn't know. You tell him this from me, all right? Next time he threatens or touches anything of mine, I am going straight to the police. He's about all the hairy freak in nature like you can get. Pay the lady, shall him. Let it ride. Again? You're cleaning me out. Let it ride. Scammer. Dick's want to know one. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I like a challenge. <laughs> Greetings to you all. I come in peace. I just wanted to say thank you for. And just so you know, there was some Photoshop chicanery and. As you can see for yourself, I am not that hairy. <laughs> I, I, admittedly, I do have body hair, but not unlike any pubescent girl my age. You know, puberty is it's a natural thing for boys and girls. You know, our bodies change. We, um, we smell different. Uh, boys like you get bigger and taller and much wider across the chest. Girls' nipples get bigger. Anyway. Thank you for your hospitality. Uh, farewell to you. Hey. Look, there's marinas in every school I've been in, yeah? If they weren't picking on you, you're one of us. I couldn't even get on the bus this morning. <laughs> Me, I haven't missed a day in years. Well, I can, um, 
I can walk you in if you like. Yeah. Come on. Hi, Chewbacca! <laughs> <laughs> You ready? Come on. They were cheating. I want my money back. Well, if you can't pay, you can give us a snog. Listen, I promise I won't tell anyone. Problem? This cause you want to snog because I can't pay. Oh, come on, I'm not Harvey Weinstein. It was just a joke, OK? We don't joke about things like that. I weren't called for thug. Uh, well, nobody said anything when he broke my phone. What do you get? Get off, you just hit me, you egg kiss. Stop whining. Hey, shake, make up, be a man. Right, I don't want to hear any excuses. You're in resolve. <laughs> That's racial profiling. You too, Trotsky. In fact, you, you, and you. No, but I'm, I'm the good one, so. Tell it to the judge. What's bloody going on? <laughs> Gambling is against the school rules. Mum, it was yep. at school you called me Mrs. Paracha. Hiding a tana in cups. And you, dear, I'm very surprised that you are thought you were a good boy. Hey. Uh, no. Oh, no. Sam has something she wants to say to you, Kniez. Miss Paracha. You what? In school, she wants to be called. Nope. They're mine. The cup game's mine. Oh. I got to here to run it for me. Celine. Celine to run it for me. Yeah, they're hers. She gave them to me. And remember, she was a bad influence on our as well, Mum. Uh, Miss Paracha. They were lesbians together. Thanks for that. So, uh, you've been invited to Marina's party tonight? Yeah. Can I come with you? <laughs> no. I'll cry. Still no. Ah, now am I late or are you early? No, I'm early. I thought I'd pop in, get my bearings back. Come on, it's not been that long. Oh, it feels like a very long time, believe me. Right, well, we can talk about handing it all back to you, because after the start to term, I've had you are welcome to me. Right, yes, that's what I need to talk to you about, because, um, I'm not coming back. Well, not as head, anyway. Come on. Perfecting your circus act. That'll be your form, breaking the rules of school and resolve. Can I just say, Kayla, as a woman with no little experience in these matters, we are who we are. And you are of a very hirsute race. Uh, I hope by that you mean human race, Miss Cap. Asian women don't have a monopoly of androgenic hair. Oh, under what? Body hair has no geographical borders. And neither does ignorance, as you've just proved with that ill-informed and badly judged statement. I think you'll find that men may feel very differently. I don't care what men want. It's my body. If we're up to men, we'd be shaved, shackled and shoved indoors. Just offering a bit of sucker. You all right, Kay? No, I'm not. All right, now everyone has an opinion on body hair they want to share with me. You need to nip these things in the bud. Punching them like you do. Or oh, defending my sister's honour. <laughs> defending your own, more like. We share the same honour. Family, friends. It's worth defending. Oh, I'm not that sort of girl. All right, I'm a blender. I blend in. If you blend in, no one notices. <laughs> Didn't work for you yesterday. Oh, it's not that simple. All right, Marina doesn't hate me. She's just doing a pretty good impression. No, it's about other things. You know, being half Pakistani, she hates that I can oh, understand. Oh, for God's sake, Kayla. Will you just grow up? Look, this is unacceptable. You just let her walk all over you and it's got to stop. Only you can stop it. Punch her lights out. Mm, no, no, we're not resorting to violence, all right? We've got to be smarter than that. Look, I've got... I've got an idea, but you've got to trust me. Do you trust me? Depends. Right, look, you've got to put this Kardashian wannabe in her place, all right? And it will only work if you take centre stage. Look, I'll be with you the whole way, all right? Yeah. Right? Revenge is a dish best served, Harry. We've got a party to crash. Want to see how it's done properly, Math Almighty?
Hello. Just thought I'd bring a little light entertainment to your evening. Hope you don't mind, but um, there were some things left unsaid the other day. It may have been muffled by my moustache. I say moustache, but it's actually more like a very low monobrow. <laughs> well, I can laugh at myself, right? But not everyone can, and we need to be kinder about that. Especially those closest to us. Marina, I may be a different colour to you. Hairier than you, as you pointed out on my fundraiser page. <laughs> Raised 25 quid, by the way. Bought myself an electric tweezer set, the, uh, the quicker plucker sucker. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> but I'm still your sister. And what can be funny can be hurtful as well. So come on, this is 2021, people. But we've all got something odd or quirky we don't like about our bodies, which is nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, Let's celebrate our individuality. This is me. Take it or leave it. It came to pass, oh best beloved, that me, the girl child, was never really lost, just too scared to see who I was. But we all need courage to step out of the shadows, but we forget our friends are there to help us do that. No more hairy schoolgirl or Marina's dodgy Pakistani half sister or Fizz's kooky friend. Only me from now on, Kayla. And I like me. <laughs> <laughs> 